I'll give you an example. Okay. Um, you're not supposed to remind someone of, of their past, of their being a convert, or, or of their past. Right. Like that's true. But when it comes to journalism, um, I remember I noted uh, like half a dozen well-known Orthodox rabbis who were converts, and one of them threatened to take me to a Beit Din. He he wanted it off, and he got very angry. I don't blame him. And and he went after me, and I said. Talmud is talking about, well, you don't remind a convert of being a convert, it's talking about interpersonal relationships, not talking about journalism. For instance, like, this is something... That's, that's, that's in, wrong, Lady. You're wrong on that. that well, there, there are various Orthodox rabbis who would agree with you and various who would disagree with you. But uh, it's, it's in the community's interest. They need to know, or it's useful to know which Orthodox rabbis are converts because there are certain positions in a community that... Uh, a, a convert should not take, and I'm not at all sure that converts should become rabbis. First of all, I think that's a problematic area. Converts should not become leaders in the Jewish community. Well, we've had this discussion. And they should not serve on a Beit Din uh, for conversion. I believe they cannot. Right, they they, they cannot. So, um, so. But it's nobody's business to blur out that somebody is a convert. There's no, there's no, that's, that's completely wrong. That, that goes negative halacha. The idea that the convert should be able to keep their identity hidden. They shouldn't take a job uh, sitting on a base stand, right? Like, you're right about that. There are all sorts of positions but, that they right, should take. Right, but that should be handled privately. It's not for public consumption. The, the people who need to know that are the other rabbim or whatever who would make the decision to put the guy on, on a base then or whatever. They know, and that's fine, but they would also have the, 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 uh, the, the, wisdom. the wisdom to keep it quiet because they know that, right? You're blurting it out so every Tom, Dick, or Harry walking down the street needs to know. It's not a need to know. It's a need not to know. I, I should be able to feel that if I'm a convert, I don't need to worry that it's going to be spilled out over the internet. Just because you don't respect the fact of your privacy doesn't mean that you can trample and force other people to... to well, if you want to be private, then become a rabbi and take uh, public uh, public positions. Like, take a very prominent uh, public uh, job as a convert to Orthodox Judaism, you can't expect that uh, someone's not going to note when when they're writing about you that you're a convert. Like if you want to keep it, like there there are all sorts of people who who for various good reasons want to keep their their past quiet. So don't like grab for positions where you're going to get a maximum of attention and news media attention that people write about you. Don't go on TV. Why not? Don't uh, go no. on the radio if you don't want to be discussed. You but, can't. You can't like. Oh, look at me! You know, I've got. I'm doing these things on TV and on the radio, and I'm publishing in the newspaper and magazine, publishing books. But don't ever talk about me. It, it doesn't work both ways. If you want to be a public person, then people deserve to be able to know about you. For instance, whether you're a convert or not. No, I completely disagree with that. <clears throat> I completely disagree with that. If I were a convert, I have the right to go on TV. I have the right to. Um, to uh, publish books and publish newspapers, books, newspapers, newspapers, go on the radio, go on to one, whatever, you know, and it's nobody's business what my what my um, what life was before I became a con. It's not a, nobody's business the fact that I am a convert. That's nobody's business. And there's a respect for privacy. We don't need to say lush and hora because it's lush and hora to to say that a so and so is a convert. Those words, Joe is a convert. Is something that we're not allowed to say according to the Torah. One of the 613 mitzvahs includes you're never allowed to say the following sentence. So and so is a convert. I can say it here because you. I'm fine with it. You say it yourself. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Right? And but if Levy said, you know, I don't want everybody to know that, or he never even said anything about it, I can't introduce the concept. I can't say Levy's a convert. I can't even go up to Levy and say, hey, can I talk about the fact that you're a convert? Because I can't remind him that he's a convert. But when Levy comes to me first and says, you know, I'm going to be talking about I'm a convert, um, that, allow, that, that drops the, uh, the, the, the wall on that and I'm allowed to discuss it, which is very rare for me because one of the few things you'll never hear out of my mouth is so-and-so is a convert, so-and-so is a bald shuva. I, I stay away from that. 
because it's, it's Lush and Hora. According to the Chafetz Chaim, who writes, who's the expert on Lush and Hora, you're never allowed to say these things. I wrote, a, I wrote a note about this on Facebook. You're never allowed to say, are you BT? Or so-and-so is a BT. That's a Baal Tshuva Yeshiva. You know, those are a bunch of Baal Tshuvas. This guy's a Baal Tshuva. She's a Baal Tshuva. You're never allowed to say those things. There's no Hector in the world to say those things. You're not allowed to say, so-and-so is a convert. I think so-and-so is a convert. Are you a convert? Are you a BT? You're not allowed to say these things. You're not allowed to say these things. Torah forbids it, okay? It's all Lush and Hora. You're not allowed to say those things. Then how come the Talmud often says so and so is a convert? Because that Rav gave the permission on it. Like Reish Lakish? Reish Lakish was a was he a convert or a Balchuva? I'm not sure he was a robber and then he became religious. Yeah, he was a Balchuva and, 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 and Rabbi Akiva was right. a gear, right? Because they've authorized that. So we're, it's like, you know, Levi. It's the same kind of thing. Levi's authorized it, we're allowed to say it. But we don't know who else because then not, then they, not everybody authorizes it. You should be allowed to go into the public domain and teach Torah or, you know, whatever, and not fear that Lush and Hora is going to be said about you because nobody else is going to respect your privacy. God says, no, that is not good. The Torah wants to give everyone respect and a layer of privacy, and there's things that you are not entitled to know. There's things you're not entitled to know, and that's it. I know it's a concept that America isn't used to. They think, oh, we're entitled to know everything. I need to know, I need to know. You know, it's the people's rights to know. That's not a Torah concept. There's, Torah has an idea that there's certain things you're not allowed to know. You're not allowed to know if this guy, your neighbor, is a Balchuva or a Ger or a lifer. You don't. That's not your fucking business. You get it through your thick head. You're not allowed to know and deal with it. So... Put on the baseball game, please. <laughs> so I, I told this rabbi who was really angry with me, and uh, he, he said, I'll take you to a, to a bait dinner. Good. And uh, I was going through a conversion to Orthodox Judaism at the time, so like, I really didn't want a conflict. Right. So I was very nervous, but I. I said, okay, I'll, I'll take you on. So he first went to the RCC. And uh, and I said, oh, I won't accept them as a big din. I think they're corrupt and ignorant. <laughs> and uh, they said, they told him, we're not interested in a big din with, with Luke because he's not Jewish. But you can have a big din. Again, it shows how ignorant they are. You can have a big din uh, between a Jew and a non-Jew if the non-Jew consents. And it's not at all that only Jews can show up in front of a bait den. So I, we found a bait den that we both agreed on, and he had, what's the court a lawyer that argues in a bait den? What are they called? A, a toy, toy uh, the 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 Taina. Taina. Yeah. So he had, a, he had a lawyer go to the bait den and say, you know, okay, I want to take, take this case um, against Luke Ford for, for writing on his website that I'm a convert and refusing to take it down. Oh, right on the corner, yeah. And uh, he got told by the administrating rabbi of the debate then that you're going to have a really hard case to, to, to argue. You're going to have to meet such and such conditions because there is a communal interest in knowing who's, who's a convert because of the various things that a convert cannot do. Anyway, he gave up the case. So I was prepared to argue it in front of a big dead. So um, it's always better to have someone else argue for you who knows the halachos and knows how when 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 the when the other uh, party right you know starts quoting like a whole rom bomb or something right you have somebody on your side who can say well did you know that the rom bomb said you know says this in another place or something you know what I mean right said so they're only bringing you half of a story you wouldn't know that so right. you, sh you should never go in alone right. Yeah. So, uh, but I had the courage of my convictions, even though I was in the middle of a conversion process, I said, bring it, bring it on. And uh, he backed down. So, in all likelihood, I would have, would have won that beat then, which is why he didn't, he didn't bring it. But anyway, I'm going to cite a source, even if you, 
hate the source, and even if it causes you distress just to hear the person's name, I'm not going to change the show to. A no, I, it, but while we were talking, if we were talking like privately or interpersonally, I wouldn't bring these people up. No, because I'm just going to say that that right off the bat, you're quoting something.